today at Advance Auto Parts. Firefighters from Glendale responding to a first alarm fire. No one was home, but the house is a total loss. Stephanie Omo is live with the story tonight. Steph? That's right, John and Christina. The fire crews have pretty much been in and out of this area. It was a very unique situation. There was actually a Glendale fire crew just a few blocks away when they saw a column of smoke come out of this home uh, right behind me near 69th Avenue and Glendale. They say the heat didn't help the situation. And like you said, Christina, fortunately, there was no one home at the time. It was just before noon today when fire crews arrived to this house fire near 69th Avenue and Glendale. By the amount of smoke and the call that we call it, we called it on the way here. We called a working fire and then we saw the amount of uh, smoke that it was producing. So we actually called for the next alarm, which is the first alarm to get even more units coming. Dozens of firefighters arrived on scene. Chris James with Glendale Fire says the blaze started on the exterior of the house and quickly spread up to the side and up into the attic. We did have, we were offensive interior doing a good firefight. Uh, there was just too much heat, smoke and fire. So the roof actually collapsed on the second floor, called all our units out for safety and attacked it from the exterior. James says the house is likely a total loss. Fortunately, the owners were not home at the time, but they arrived to find crews handling the fire. The owner of the home, Sandy Harmon, didn't want to be interviewed on camera, but she tells me she and her husband left for just 10 to 15 minutes. When they arrived, they were in complete shock. At this time, Jane says the fire is under control. And we're doing some wrap up, which you call mop up, to make sure that there is no other fire that it's not going to start up anymore. We're still going to continue here until the job's done. Now, the fire fortunately did not spread to other homes in the area. However, the heat from the fire and also the extreme temperatures did cause a minor damage to a neighbor's home. Uh, right now, what's going on is it looks like they're about to board this home, and the cause of the fire remains under investigation at this time. Sandy tells me that she is grateful she wasn't there when the fire broke out earlier today. Reporting live in Glendale tonight, I'm Stephanie Olmo, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Steph.